Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey. <laughs> Today, I'm coming at you with the best the hair diagram. They sent over this amazing care package, and I will be testing out and using some of my faves from them. Obviously, like Bold Hold, I know everybody has heard of it because it's the best glue on the market. Obviously, it's been around, it, it literally set the standard for most glues out there wig glues so yes we're gonna be using the bold hold today they got skin protecting got lace remover which is just so necessary like this lace glue remover it's yeah pristine okay they have their jelly too they sent me over a wig band they sent me over these little guys which really can come in handy when you're like out on the go or something so yeah we love her needed me another edge brush so perfect and yeah so i'm excited for this I'm making myself look like Meg the Stallion today <laughs> because it was on my looks list for October. So I'm like, bet, like we're gonna do this. I don't even remember where the brand is from, but we gonna apply her. So yeah, cause Meg always got a bust down middle part with the long hair, yeah. So we're gonna do that. I'm an oily girl. So their lace glue that's good for oily skin is so good, y'all. Like I've been going through them bottles like crazy. Um, so because y'all know I literally apply a different wig every week so <laughs> it's needed you know as of right now I have on a stocking cap and these are stockings you can buy from your local beauty supply um, we're just gonna put the makeup on here I'm gonna protect my skin before I use any of the glue. So we're just gonna spray this like this. I know y'all are probably like, Deb, why would I choose to use um, like adhesive over just like the gels or, you know, just the spray glues and stuff? Let me tell y'all something. Your wig looks completely different when you use adhesive. Like, I don't care what any stylist says, your wig melts something crazy when you use adhesive versus like the just temporary water like the glues that can be removed with water and stuff because i mean like i just said i'm applying a different wig every week you would think it would be like better to just use those but the thing is adhesive makes them look like scalp y'all like i'm telling you so i love my adhesive you know to each their own but I'm gonna take adhesive every every time. This is the Bold Hold Active and it is good for oily skin. It literally says there for oily skin. I use this for my wig caps as well, just because it just works so good. And you know, you sweat on your forehead and stuff and oil collects up there. So we want this to be really, really laid down. Also, you see, here's my hairline. I like to have the cap like below my hairline. So it's not touching my hairline at all. You know, cause that's a, also a common misconception with the glues. It's like, oh, my hair is gonna come out. No, it's not. Just don't touch your hairline and it, you should be fine. You know, I'm just going around the natural curves of my hairline with this. We're gonna let this dry all the way. And I'm just gonna use something to really smash this in my skin. Because when I go to cut it, I want it to be dry so that when I'm cutting around it, it doesn't come up at all. It's literally been maybe five minutes. And as you can see, I can pull this and it's not coming up right where that glue is at. Tell me you make everything look like skin, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with this glue and I'm pretty much just gonna draw where I want the glue to go and then go back in with a brush to smooth it out. All the layers just need it. Just make sure they're thin layers, basically. I'm just picking up some of that glue and I'm gonna use this to spread it. Make sure it's nice and thin so it dries evenly. And I'm 
getting a little on the wig cap just so that my glue my wig goes from my skin to my wig cap seamlessly and it's starting to dry up already wherever it dries up just add your glue back there I'm not doing that many layers of this because like I said I don't be keeping my wigs on that long and one to two layers be doing it for me so okay now that everything's dry let's place our lace I don't do this in any fancy way I'm not gonna lie to y'all sure don't I just smack it on there then we don't put the lace band right on top we band in the meantime, I'm going to try to style this hair some. I don't know how I want to style it, though. That's that's the dilemma right now. Like, do y'all see how long? That got to be 50 inches, I'm thinking. Here, so we're going to cut her. just going to take a razor and go around cut this all the way around I like using a little eyebrow razor thing because it gives a really jagged cut as opposed to shears or scissors and I'm just pulling the lace and cutting where the glue ends at Anywhere the lace is coming up at, and all you can do is just roll your hand back against your lace. We're gonna put a little bit more glue to lay that down. I don't think I wanna do baby's hairs. Since I'm turning into Megan, like she don't do much like crazy baby hairs when I see her installs. So it should be fine. Hey y'all i'm back i'm back and it's been how long has it been about about a week yeah about a week and as you can see glue's still very much on because where's the lace lifting at that's the real question nowhere honey you see this to remove your wig i'm using their bold hold lace remover and it comes with this kind of cap don't worry though they included the sprayer i love that they included the sprayer and i'm just taking an old makeup rag i'm gonna spray some on the actual rag this is like the first wig remover that doesn't smell completely toxic to me like guys i am so big on smells and I just instantly get so mad. Like, bro, why is that smelling like that? <laughs> Should I be putting that on my skin, you know? This one is not bad at all. And I'm just spraying this all around my hairline, rubbing with my cloth. Use paper towel too. And it immediately, little by little, I'm not being harsh with it because I don't want to ruin my lace. You know, we're not doing too much. Literally just pressing that in. This is literally the best wig remover I've used personally. It acts super fast. It doesn't have a gross odor. The spray is super slippery. It doesn't stay on the skin. The scent doesn't stay on the I'm big on smells, y'all. I'm letting y'all know that just because like I might say scent, 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 you know, in all my videos. <laughs> literally, I did not film no videos for real from that Megan look. I was rushing to go somewhere that day and to be there on time because it was a surprise birthday party and I was like the last one getting there, like a goofball. And so I'm like, oh, the cop tip do come first, but like, y'all, I did not want to show up to somebody, late to somebody's birthday party and then they like, Deb, what the heck are you doing here, you know? Surprise ruined, like, no. Y'all know I'm gonna get my content done, but look, gotta be a better manager of my time. <laughs> you really didn't care about your wig cap coming up underneath i would literally just advise to spray all the way around your hairline not in sections like i'm doing i'm just being careful just to show y'all that 
the glue is clearly only taking up where you want it to be at, you know? Wherever you put the, the actual remover down is the only place it's gonna come up. And you see that? Yeah. And I'm not pulling, because again, like, y'all seen it, my, my, my hairline is intact. And I, I want to keep it that way. <laughs> if you want your edges to still be there, this this is how, like, everybody be like, but your edges, you're always, you always have wigs on. She must not have any. Uh -uh. Don't do that. You know? Don't do that to me. I'm gonna be real careful. Ah, no, it's starting to come up. Bow hold is like, look, I'm doing my job. You doing good, honey. It's me. There we go. Okay, this side is cool, but this little part came up a little bit. Oh, it just naturally start falling off. Okay. Perfect. Wigs looking great. It don't have much glue on the actual lace, which I love when that happens. As you can see, the lace glue is still actually on my head. You can see it right here rolled up. So that'll be easier to remove off your forehead than it would be to try to scrub lace lace glue off of your wig. But for the sake of the video, I will show you how to do that as well. As you can see, it's a little bit of glue there. And pretty much, like, I love this lace glue because it's like almost like latex or something. It comes up really easily. And you can just pretty much pick it off. That's that. And then if you need a little extra help, you can spray some of the lace glue and, you know, whatever. You can go in with a toothbrush and pick it up, a towel, you know, whatever you need. Now I'm ready to wear another wig if I want. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you heard a bold hold, if you tried them, if you've seen all the videos and like, damn, I need this glue. Don't forget, if you like any of the products that I showed today, everything is going to be down in my description. Of course, linked, all that. So make sure you shop, honey, okay? If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you guys in my next one.